First at noon, a man is rushed to the hospital with severe burns after a boat goes up in flames in Pompano Beach. Now investigators are looking into the strange circumstances surrounding that fire. CBS 4's Natalia Zaya is live at the Hillsborough Inlet with the story. Natalia? Well, witnesses say they heard a loud explosion, and then when they rushed over here, they saw this bolt boat engulfed in flames, smoke coming out from it. This is a 30-foot cruiser, and this is all that's left after something went wrong here around 2 in the morning. And after searching these waters right here, witnesses and firefighters realized the man burned was long gone. Crews rushed to transport a patient with severe burns on his body after he was injured during a boat fire. But 32-year-old Lucas Correa was not found on or near the burned-out boat. He turned up somehow at Broward Health North, walking in on his own despite his severe injuries, according to Pompano Beach Fire Rescue. Joseph Settembrino was loading up his boat to go fishing when he heard the explosion. At 2 o'clock in the morning, you don't expect to hear a boom that loud. And um, I saw the flames immediately from all the way across the street. And I jumped in my boat and just came over here. The boat was on massive flames. They were like 50 feet in the air, and I couldn't get any closer than about 100, 150 feet from it before it was just too hot. But Correa and anyone else who may have been here were long gone. Well, there was a call for help, a scream, just one single call for help. So that's when I kind of hurried up and see what I could do on my boat to help out. And when I got here, no one was here. The Coast Guard, BSO, Pompano Fire, the State Fire Marshal, and Customs agents responded to the scene that one fire official called clearly suspicious. And investigators say Correa gave different stories at the hospital to explain his condition. Setembrino is just glad Correa lived. When I heard it happen, I said, if there's anybody near this boat when that happened, there's no way they survive it. It just sounded so intense. It was like, literally, I thought someone blew up the bridge and the bridge was coming down. Now that is the bridge he's talking about right there and the state fire marshal's office is investigating along with Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission and we do understand that Correa is recovering in the hospital this afternoon. He has asked for privacy so at this point the hospital is not releasing an update on his condition. We're live in Pompano Beach. Natalia Zaya, CBS 4 News.